I would like to start off by saying congratulations to the Florida Panthers on laying the Stanley Cup. Oh. Yeah. I feel like nobody's been doing that. It's not the greatest thing in the world for me either. But also congratulations uh, to the men and women's winners of the Money in the Bank ladder match. Fantastic. And congratulations to John Cena, who I will be taking questions for now. <laughs> Appropriate segue, Paul. We have got a comic book. I want you to say your reaction uh, to Cena's retirement. I saw you guys wrestle at that Champions 2012. Uh, I'm sure you had a backstage interaction after he made that announcement. Uh, when did you guys talk about this? I'd love to hear you speak about what he's meant to your career. So I texted him right away and I said, Don't leave uh, before you say hi to me. <laughs> and he texted back. Ha ha, have a good one tonight. And I immediately <laughs> took that as he pissed off from leaving. So, I know he's busy, he's filming Peacemaker, uh, so I figured he, would, he was leaving right away. I was pleasantly surprised to run into him uh, afterwards, and I told him, uh, I'll be the guy that attracts him out of retirement. That's <laughs> his retirement, but he says he's going to be here too, and this is it. And when the final one happens, that's going to be it. Like, yeah, 15 years, so I'll be right now. But Cena, I think, to my career, uh, means a lot. I don't think there's many people up in that rare air where if you talk about my career, I feel the ads talk about John. And it makes me feel proud that I think you talk about John's career, I think you have to talk about me. You know, we're, we're married in that respect. So uh, proud of him. He used to go out on his terms. I know that's important. Um, I'm looking forward to what he does. And I told him that, you know, if it's going to be one more time, we got to do it at least one more time. Thank you. Good day, good day, In uh, two months, your rear from your rear bump from TNT Sports. Uh, I just wanted to ask so, kind of take a shot on that. You had this, in that way, the day in 2011, you had probably the most pivotal moment of your career that really took you to a completely different place. I did not view like that moment again, but. Specifically, like what you did that night, and how almost like the legacy of what Steve, John Cena was at that time, kind of way you, your dynamic, ended up becoming Asia. Uh, I think you're the comic book guy, so and it would have been better if <laughs> you know, I said this, but I always, I always looked at it like Superman and Batman. You know, Superman, it's great, it's cool, you like that sort of thing, but then there's Batman. Who doesn't like Batman, right? Uh, and that's what I mean when you talk about John, you gotta talk about me. Certainly, when you talk about me, you gotta talk about John. Um, that moment, like that night, you see, that was the best moment in my career. I feel fortunate to have had a career where I can maybe argue that. And I think a lot of other people might argue that too. It's the pipe bomb. There's mining in the bank. There's you know, my return in Chicago most recently. It's a value series. I'm always going to be tied to John Cena. Uh, and if that is the greatest moment of my career, I'm proud of that. Hold it for me. All right, cool. We don't want you to try to steal that. I know about all of you. Steve Walton came out media question earlier today. AJ Lee your wife was trending on Twitter and only snacking, and they thought she would show up to screw over Drew McIntyre. You did that. Do you think we'll ever see you and AJ in a ring together? I appreciate the question. Um, you would have to ask my wife, but she's not here. She's taking care of Larry. <laughs> um, I don't want to fall in the trap of saying never say never. I don't want to give people false hope. I also not put uh, the words in her mouth and say you know, I think this could happen. I think, I think this is a brave new world. And I don't think a lot of people thought I was going to show up, you know? Uh, it's really all on her. She's busy. She, I'm super proud of her. She's doing her own thing. She got a, I don't even know how to tell her about this study. She had production help me start it up. She's writing TV, movies, all kinds of stuff. I laugh at I always say I'm a bad husband because I never know what project she's talking about. 
oh, I have a meeting with the Kenya, and I'm like, what's true? Is it Netflix? Is it Hulu? Is it CBS? I don't, I don't know. She's got so many irons and so many different fires. Uh, I will say, as a fan of hers, I'd love to see it. Uh, last question over here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, uh, Ashley Banka, Justin from the Wrestling Classic. Quick question, how are you doing? Um, where are we on the redap? This is the most visible reason you've been since the Royal Rumble. Um, are we, where are we clear to wrestle with next month? What's the, what's the deal there? Oh, uh, it's a move. I like to keep people in suspense. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you know, like, um, I will say that I feel great. I'm ready to go. And there are things in place to protect me against myself that I maybe wish were in place, you know, 10 years ago. But we don't need to talk about the past. Um, great personnel, great facilities, and I'm busting my ass to get back, to see if I could steal what John was talking about for the fans. Because whether, you know, you think she's more or less polarizing than me, whether you hate me or love me, like, I'm coming back to enjoy all these moments that were robbed for me when I got injured. And shit happens. It's a contact sport. It stinks. But I've been working very, very hard to rush the rehab and come back. And everybody behind me has supported it. And they've also been like, oh, I'm hurt. And I love that. Thank you to one of the most polarizing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, one more, one more, guys. One more. I also would like to thank John Cena while we take his time to find and ask me this question to uh, make me really nostalgic about the time he would go over his time. <laughs> <laughs> really brought me back, sit back in the green room there. I thought that was really exciting. I think he did that just for me. I appreciate it. Hey, Sam Buck, Adrian Hernandez with Unlikely. Um, I know a lot of questions were asked about John Cena. Um, for you to return today at the pay-per-view at the event that you made famous, honestly, how does that feel? It was like it was meant to be. Like, uh, it feels like I was supposed to be here to, to witness that, and I'm glad I was. And there's been a lot of moments since I've come back that I've just been backstage. People might not even know I'm back here. Uh, and I'm just like, man, I'm really glad I was in the building to witness what I thought was history and feel the energy and all, and all that. I, I thought it was a real special moment and it's just funny the way the world works. Sometimes all the planets align. You know, I was supposed to be here for that. I'm glad I was. Okay. Well, I feel that was meant to be the last question. So let's have a round of applause. See, you just said that. I'll be here Right up front here, Kasama. You can make it, no? Oh. You can't make it? The traps? <laughs> Hi, Alex Lajas from Queen of the Rain. Uh, congratulations on sabotaging Drew McIntyre's cash in. We're all very proud of you. However, there was someone who had some words to say to you, Seth Rollins. What do you think about that and how do you feel? <laughs> no comment. Oh. That's the last question. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you guys, appreciate it all. Everybody wants some Timmy's when we're playing. <laughs>